Well, good day, guys. Welcome to a video that I've thought about making for a long time. Uh, it's a very different video, but I think it's really cool, especially with you know some of the teams that I I do go for. I guess they seem to be winning teams in later years, and the word bandwagon really gets thrown around with my name. So I thought this video would be great to give you a bit of an explanation as to why I go for certain teams and who I go for in other sports. So the first team is the Parramatta Eels. Now, obviously, I've been massive in the NRL in recent years. I'll be honest, probably from about 2014, 2017, I wasn't as much into the NRL as I am now. I still actively followed the sport. When I was younger, I still remember watching all the games on Thursday, Friday nights, Monday night football as well. Uh, Dad's a Parramatta Eels supporter. Uh, I was always kind of pushed into Parramatta, loved Luke Burke growing up, loved Nathan Highmarsh growing up, and I never wanted to leave that team. So that is the reason why I go for the Parramatta Eels, mainly family-based. And again, I had an opportunity, I guess, after being refreshed and away from football. You know, I still looked at scores, I still watched games, but I just wasn't as avidly a fan of NRL as much as I am, you know, in the last at least eight years, nine years of, of rugby league. Uh, but the Parramatta Eels will, and always will be, my NRL team. Next up is the Premier League, the European Premier League, the EPL, soccer, whatever you want to call it. Now, when it comes to soccer, which I'll speak about in a moment, I was always into the A-League. I was never really into international side of soccer. I understand it was very popular. I still remember being in year five and six and people at my school talking about teams like Man City, talking about Arsenal was very prominent as well. Now, in high school was when I really started to, you know, give myself an opportunity to watch some Premier League, which it is still very hard to watch these days unless you have Optus Sport and just the timing of Premier League as well. But for me, I go for Chelsea if you don't know. Now, I've gone for Chelsea for about 10 years. Now, my favourite colour is blue, and that was part of the reason I went for Chelsea. Again, like NRL, I was a little bit off it and got back into it. Now, in high school, I had a friend of mine, uh, and he unfortunately passed away. He passed away. He was a massive Chelsea fan. At his funeral, we were offered an opportunity to wear Chelsea jerseys, and wearing that jersey on that day was really, really special. So... I tell you what, I will always go for Chelsea. There's been some hard times for the club in recent years. There's been some great performances as well. And I don't watch every Chelsea game, if I am being honest. But I am a Chelsea fan until I die. And I love supporting the club and the players that have been there over the years. And I look forward to some more success within this great club. Next up is the NBA. Now, the NBA for mine, I think I would have been about five or six when I first watched an NBA game. Couldn't tell you who it was against. But... It was always Lakers for me. And I know the Lakers are a very popular team. So I guess it's like, oh, he's picked that. It's easy. I love the colors of purple and gold. I love getting um, the, the jerseys of, you know, Kobe Bryant, especially back in those days. Kobe was my, my favorite player. And then you had some legends of the Lakers as well throughout that time period as well. Now, obviously, more modernly for modern people, it's LeBron James. And I love watching LeBron James, even though I've never been able to watch him live, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, the Lakers for mine, I would say about 20 years ago, I probably went for the Lakers. I don't know what it was, honestly, that drew me to this club. Maybe it was Kobe Bryant and what he was able to do. You know, we were going at school, we were throwing papers in the bin, yelling Kobe. That's what we did as kids. But then again, there were lots of those people that didn't go for the Lakers. There were people that went for the Warriors. There were people that went for the Celtics. There were people that went for the Heat. Very popular from people I know. But for me, always been a Lakers. Stuck by them. Again, a team that's been... You know, there's been success recently, but there's also been some very hard times, including this season seems to be one of those potentially hard times. It's not looking good for the Lakers, but I do go for the Los Angeles Lakers, and I look forward to attending another LA game in the near future. Now, when it comes to the A-League, which is something that I've probably watched since 2007, 2008, but I never got as much into it 
And I'll be honest, last year, especially with the run that they've been on, and I knew that they've been building towards this type of season, I never thought they were going to win the title last year, though. It was crazy to watch it. It's the Central Coast Mariners. If you guys don't know, I actually live on the Central Coast. So to be able to watch the Mariners achieve this glory and being able to support them through the very bad, and I'm talking various years of wooden spoons. You look into the history of this club and how much they've turned around. If you were like me, and in 2014 and 2000, and I'd say nine, you just had horrible performances and you'd go to the stadium and there'd be low attendance. To see these numbers go up again, especially against, I think it was uh, Adelaide United, that was fantastic to just see those numbers and to go and watch them win a title. Central Coast Mariners, real soft spot for this club. I haven't got as much merch as I used to. Most of my merch is younger and I definitely need newer merch for this sport. But when it comes to the A-League, I will always be a Central Coast Mariner and I'm proud to be. Now let's talk a little bit about the NFL. Now the NFL has become predominantly popular uh, in regards to the videos that I have posted on this channel. Um, obviously it's more of an NRL channel, but there's been a lot of NFL content and you guys have seemed to enjoy it. Now NFL is an interesting one because I, my favorite show growing up was Smallville. Now Smallville is about Superman growing up and the different things he experiences through high school. One of the things he experiences is playing football there in America, also known as Gridiron. And this was the first time that I kind of wanted to get into the Gridiron scene. So this was probably about 2008, 2009. I'll be honest though, I can't remember the type of players, the big names that I was watching back then. I don't think NFL was as popular back then in Australia, in countries around the world as it is now. But I went to the Kansas City Chiefs purely because Kansas was the town that Clark Kent was from. I think his team was called the Crows. I think they were a red and yellow team. So fairly similar as well. Now obviously, Kansas is not in Smallville in regards to the Kansas City Chiefs. They are separate. They're in Missouri. Uh, but I always went for the Kansas City Chiefs and to be able to experience what I experienced after watching their games and watching you know, the lows of this team and being able to experience a 50 year drought being broken just five years ago was unreal. And the build towards it, the playoff series towards it, the comeback was unreal. And my hype and support for this team over the years has gotten crazier. My love for Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey, who are this generation, my generations, Tom Brady, uh, Rob Gronkowski, absolutely right now. Love what the Kansas City Chiefs are doing. Love supporting this team. You know, if they have a bad season and only win two games next year, I'll still be there supporting the team. There were some tough moments this year, but now we're off to the Super Bowl. But the Kansas City Chiefs is my NFL team. And no, it's not because they've won titles in recent years. As I said, it's because Smallville was my favorite show growing up and it was in Kansas and the red jersey was what got me first time into football watching Clark Kent play a bit of football in Smallville season four. Baseball. Now, I'll be honest with you, when it comes to Major League Baseball, I'm not massive on this sport. I can't sit there during a regular season and watch all the games, if not many games. When it comes to the playoffs, I think it's very exciting to watch the playoffs. My team hasn't been there recently, and my team actually goes back to a few different things, but the main one being I had a librarian at school. She told me a lot about this great team that she went for in baseball and she passed away as soon as we left school. And her team, she was American as well, was the Boston Red Sox. Now the Red Sox are obviously previously known as a really dominant team, one of the best teams in baseball, one of the most supported teams. And the years have been really hard recently. And I'll be honest, I don't keep up to track of you know, the newest players, the players that leave. I probably couldn't name many players. But for me, if you were to ask me who I went for in baseball, here's your answer. It is the Boston Red Sox. Now, again, on Boston, let's speak a little bit about the NHL. Now, the NHL, I've started to get into a lot more than I used to, predominantly in the last two to three years. I know teams like the Colorado Avalanche, the Tampa Bay Lightning, they're your really good teams throughout this sport. 
But for me, I'm a Boston Bruins fan, and I know that last year they had an incredible season. They're having a very good season this year as well. And probably not as good as last year. Last year was a once in a generation, and they were knocked out in week one. And I think for me, it all goes back to Happy Gilmore. I absolutely love watching Happy Gilmore. Wasn't really into ice hockey, but the Bruins jumper, the Bruins colors got me into that. Then I went to watch an ice hockey game last year as well during the regular season between the Los Angeles Kings and the Capitals. And I thought to myself, do I want to become a Kings fan? But I think that I'm loyal to the Boston Bruins. I have been for years. I would probably say that the Bruins probably started for me around 2011. So it's probably been about 13 years there. Not, a, not the 20 of you know NBA, not the 15 of NFL, but there has been a long time where I've jumped on that Bruins and I've had some merch items from the Bruins over the years. When it comes to the AFL, I am a Western Bulldog supporter. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, I thought that I was a Western Bulldog supporter around 2014. I have found notes from primary school writing that my AFL team was the Western Bulldog, and that is like 2010, 2011. So this has been, you know, a 13, 14 year journey. I still remember there was a period there where I did really like Port Adelaide. I remember me and BKR Sport had an interview with Port Adelaide player Charlie Dixon, started to sway a little bit towards the pair, but moved straight back over to the Western Bulldogs and have been very loyal. Tried to go to their games where possible when they come to Sydney. I've been to two away games or one one game away i'm pretty sure for the western bulldogs there against the uh it was the melbourne demons it was the afl final rematch at the time actually but yeah the western bulldogs love marcus bontempelli love what he's brought to the club in recent years again couldn't name a player too far back i've m more modern afl but the 2016 run that was a prime example of a of, you know, waiting for that moment, waiting a couple of years. Again, only a couple of years for me, it could have been 20 years for others. And then going to the grand final again and unfortunately losing to Melbourne, who it was great to see them get their opportunity after so long as well. But, you know, we've been okay in recent years. There's been a couple of years outside the finals, but we've still been there, uh, you know, up and down. But the Western Bulldogs, I'm very proud to support them when it comes to the AFL. And I try and watch them wherever I can. Well, that's going to do it for this video, guys. So this is the reason why I support every team and who I support in every sport. So you guys know for the future and you know a little bit about me now of the times when I was younger and why I chose that specific team, whether it be colors, whether it be things happening around me or personal factors as well. Let me know your teams for different sports in the comments as well. If you want to make a video like this, go ahead and let me know um, that you've made this video. Just, you know, let me know on a video and just say I've made a video just like yours. So it'd be great to see who everyone goes for. You know, um, hopefully all my teams win their championships coming up, but there's a couple of these teams that just don't look to be there yet. But subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Let me know your teams in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, and I'll see you guys later.